This is my mate Dave. He grew up in a Catholic family here in the ghettos of South London, where the only thing he had to survive were his fists. I learned to fight it. I learned to fight from when I was about seven when I was in primary school, you know? You kind of get egotistical and arrogant because when you know you're big and you can fight and they just don't listen. When I met him at Oxford University, he was different from most people. Dave had a dark ghetto side and used to lock himself away in his room for days and sometimes weeks at a time. What was he doing behind that door? Was he reading his beloved philosophy books or was he getting in the Dave zone listening to his records? On one occasion, Dave disappeared for more than three weeks. When he eventually re-emerged, he had converted to Islam and his name was Dawood. He came home one Sunday afternoon and he said, uh, what was it? I said, David, you've got a beard, isn't it? Yeah. And he said, yes, I'm a Muslim. And I said, oh, <laughs> you feel happy about that? And he said, yes, I said, fine. Mum phoned me and <laughs> tell me David's converted today. He said, he's a Muslim now. Yeah, I said, all right, yeah. That wasn't exactly what you said. No? Well, no, he said, as long as he's not a radical, it doesn't matter. By piecing together the jigsaw of Dave's past, I was starting to get a better picture of why my mate became a Muslim. Dave, where are we going now? Okay, bro, Moss. When me and my dad used to go about 25 years ago, my dad used to take me there when it was a pub. So there's a place with a pool in there because my dad knew the landlord really well. It's kind of weird, we're going back full circles. My dad's never been to the mosque, but he's been to that building lots of times. Why should bring another one? <laughs> There's a sense of belonging, a sense of unity and a sense of purpose. I don't know, that's how I feel every time after I pray. I feel quite emotional, I feel quite uh, I'm really blessed, if that's a word to say. For me, being the defiant individual that you've known me to be in six foot four and sixteen stone and all these things and all the, all these egotistical physical things that I could use, it's quite a big step for me to be able to bend over and pray and you know, just submit myself to something. I've never been to anything in my life. Have you noticed a change in him since oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely. He's a lot calmer. Yeah. <laughs> a lot calmer. He used to be half active. <laughs> <laughs> Dave may have found a new religion, but he has remained fiercely proud of his roots. He now works as a mentor with the young kids in South London, helping them find their own way out of the ghetto, whatever it may be.